So I want to take a minute to go over the high rail gear system that we add onto these 325 excavators. So what we have here is a, our high rail box. We've got two oversized hydraulic cylinders for raising and lowering them. These are also equipped with Cobra style brakes. These are spring applied hydraulic release brakes that we use on here. And uh, also up front, we've got all the connections to do uh, our dump carts. So we have side dump carts that'll connect here. We can control the clamps on the dump carts. We can control the dumping action of it. That all connects right in here. We also have pinnel hitch up front for connecting your carts or towing material carts, things of that nature. We've got the tie downs right up front here. So if you're chaining these down to a truck, get your connection points here. And then also we have a five and 10 gallon a minute hydraulics hand tool circuit here to run all your hand tools. We've also added a toolbox up front here to keep your grease gun, your hand tools, everything right nice and close to the operator's cab. So, so let's open up the box and we'll take a look inside and see what, uh, see the business end of this. All right, so inside of our high rail box, what we have here is down underneath, this is a solid axle bearings on each side. We've got solid wheels on the outsides. And then in here, we've got our motor, our gearbox. We've got a chain drive. This is a double roller chain going down from the motor to the axle, providing the uh, transmission power. And then we also have a disconnect in here. So this disconnect, we can pull it up, throw the handle. That'll disconnect your motor and your gearbox in case the machine would ever need to be towed. You can just disconnect that, cage your brakes, and everything would be ready to go on that. So I want to talk about the back end of the machine now, some of the features that we've developed into this. Number one, as you can see with the high rail gear, it does not stick out past the end of your crawler track. So if you're climbing up a shoulder or you know getting on and off the track, you don't have to worry about your gear hanging out there in front of you, you know, getting plowed through the ballast as you're climbing the tracks. The other thing is we've really worked to improve that ground clearance underneath here and get it get these high rail gear up as as high as possible so when you're crawling around uh, you know in the mud and dirt and everything keep that gear up out of out of the ground and give you as maximum amount of ground clearance as we can get with it we've also tried to tuck it up nice and tight to the body and get it up again as high as we can and then one of the greatest features that we have for these machines is this is a zero tail swing machine. So with a conventional excavator, you'd have your counterweight would be much farther out here than what this is. This being tucked in, if you're in congested areas where you're on a double main or a triple main, uh, when you swing around, you don't have to worry about that counterweight getting out there and fouling an adjacent track. Uh, it, it doesn't, it only gets just a few inches past the track pads here. So if you can crawl in somewhere and your crawler track's clear, your tail will clear and you don't have to worry about hitting any obstructions along the side of the track.